Hello, hello, hello. You are returning to the episode of The Wonderkin Show. Today's first topic Devontae Adams is on the trade block. Look. I want to make sure that I say this right and make my point pretty clear with this, right? Because I know a lot of people are locked in. So many people are getting their hopes up. So many people are, uh, you know, like their curiosity is percolating, you know? Let me let you understand this right now. It's not happening. <laughs> oh, it's not. So don't even get your hopes up. They've let, listen, I'm going to be real with you. I want what's best for this team, right? I would love Devontae Adams. With Devontae Adams, I know that that missed touchdown from Bateman, that wouldn't happen because we're going to Devontae. That missed corner shot for, for Zay, that wouldn't be a drop. That's going to Devontae. The toe tap in the back of the end zone, as much as I love likely, it's not going to happen. Because Tay's making that play. The games where the receivers drop six, seven balls, pause. That's not happening. That's not happening. Not if he's part of the squad, it's not. It's not. Let's just keep it a buck. So understand where I'm coming from saying that I would love for him to be a part of this team. There is no receiver here I wouldn't give up for Devontae Adams. I'm letting you know that now. I'm letting you know that now. None. Now, with that being said, it's just not feasible. Our team doesn't believe on investing. See, they believe in wide receiver talent. They just don't believe in investing in wide receiving talent. And what I mean by is capital. They'll invest draft stock into the player, meaning we'll draft you. They won't even trade a guy to say, okay, third round pick. Nah. And we got to pay him 14 mil a year. Nah. That ain't happening. They're just not pushing on it. But make no mistake about it. They, they know how good receivers are. They know how problematic they can be. They know how they can take over a game. They see where the NFL is gone. They don't care. They don't care. And they've let you know they don't care uh, already. So us asking for it, us believing in it, I just kind of fi like find myself being like it's a waste of energy. And I don't, I don't like wasting unnecessary energy. Makes no sense. Makes none. At all. Now... Here's where things can get interesting. Even though I don't believe it's going to happen, this, this is where things can get interesting. If the Raiders truly don't want to eat next year's cap hit from Devontae Adams. So what they start doing is wheeling and dealing. That's the only upside I can give you guys. Right, for the people that be like, man, you got to keep hope alive. Because I'm one of those guys usually, but I'm like that until it comes to wide receivers for the Ravens. Anything else, I can keep hope alive. Like running backs and stuff like that. Player of Lamar's caliber. Yeah, I keep hope alive. But for wide receivers, if they're not old and taking a significant pay decrease, I don't see it happening. And Devontae's getting pizzied. If I'm not mistaken... Let me just go and make sure that I know, um, so I don't tell y'all no lies. Because I know what's up there. He, yeah, he signed a five-year, $140 million contract with the Las Vegas Raiders, which included a $19 million, uh, 19.5 signing bonus, $25 million cap hit, $65 million guaranteed. The average annual salary is $28 million a year. Base salary is $16.8 um, million a year. With a workout bonus of $100,000. Yeah. 
while ha- while also carrying a dead cap value of 40.44000 million for a cap hit. The, the Ravens, listen, the Ra- listen, other teams will look at him like the Chiefs right now. I can see them making a play on him, the Jets, because they're looking at him like, I need it. But that's not us. <laughs> We're looking at, listen, we're looking at that price tag and just like, get him away from us. (laughs) COVID-19 drill. Social distancing. (laughs) Oh, that's how they be. (laughs) I'm dead serious, bro. Six feet. (laughs) They don't want that. So let me be real with you. Last thing. Now. Let's just say in some twist of fate, because nothing's ever 100% certain in this life. Nothing. In some twist of fate, the Ravens somehow for once decided, hey, let's try to get Devontae Adams, the the pair with Lamar and Derrick Henry. You know what? It's not going to (laughs) happen. I don't even want to think about it. It's hard to be, the NFL wouldn't let it happen. Let, let, you know what? Let me let me even stop. I'm not even going to give you guys even a little bit of hope. It, the NFL wouldn't let it happen. It, they would break the league. <laughs> like, what would you do? Play action with Devontae Adams, Derrick Henry, and Lamar Jackson? Zone read? With well, Derrick Henry's already unstoppable enough. Guys are running free in the back end all day long. Matter of fact, you even had... Uh, 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 Bengals fan. Cause remember, we're playing the Bengals next. We're playing the Bengals next. I'll read it to you. You had a Bengals fan come out. I don't want to say their name because most of y'all know who it is. But I'm just gonna tell you what the person said. I'm not gonna really gonna tell you the name. They said, check this out. The game plan for the Bengals. Rashad Bateman got to go for 150 plus yards. I'm selling out everything to the run. If we lose, it's got to be because Bateman won in single coverage all four quarters. Any plan that deviates from that, I ain't trying to hear it. <laughs> Yo! I'm, that's what teams are going to start doing. We'll live with him one-on-one. If he beats us, walk him into the field, shake your hand. Now, for, for, for I asked the Ravens, do you think he can? Do you think Rashad Bateman can win consistently on the outside for all four quarters? If you... They're going to say they believe. But I mean, do you truly believe he can? Now, if we had Devontae, that's cookies. They can't even do That's what I'm saying. You put them in jeopardy. Because now you have to roll coverage. for the, You're not leaving Devontae Adams one-on-one all day. You're not. You're not even leaving them all. You're not even leaving them one-on-one in one quarter. Much less all game. You see what I'm trying to say? So what you're going to end up happening is you're going to have to roll that safety you have to roll one safety in the box and run safety over Devontae. That leaves the whole other side of the field open. So now when you got your tight ends or Zay Flowers doing all these wiggles, skipiddles, skadiddles, there's nothing stopping them. Nothing can stop them. Screens would be unstoppable to the other side of the field. Because now you're one man up. You're one man up. You'd have to have one defensive person being able to take out two people. Good luck. And that's what I'm saying. So, you know, I I would love for it to happen, but I just know it's not. So I'm not going to get my energy up thinking that it can. And I'm not going to open and keep my mind open to thinking that it's possible because we know it's not. But what do you guys think? Do you think the Ravens will actually for once say, hey, Let's value the receiver market and give Lamar something he's never had, a true X receiver. Or do you believe what I believe in Blake? <laughs> it, it, listen, the H-E double hockey six would freeze over before that happened. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Please, please, because I, I really want to know what you're thinking, all right? But as always, <gasps> that's the episode of the Wonderkind Show! <laughs> Thank you for watching. Y'all know how we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth.
please do remember like subscribe hit that notification bell, leave a comment you know i love the comments and if you have not done so already check out the winning Show's patreon yes three tiers of content goodness one of your consumption give it a look give it a try let me know what you think and if you would like to donate to this channel help out with equipment and such and such stuff like that bottom of the screen qr code QR codes to a cash app. Cash is located in the description of every video that we do. Name of it is Money Son, The Wonderkin Show. Super easy. But once again, this is The Wonderkin Show. This is your host, Nigel, signing off. And as always, you know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. Huh? Yeah! Finish him, Daddy.